We're back at the house today and it's April 7th. We've made some progress this week, not as much as we're hoping, but that's gonna how that's how it's gonna be every week. We got a couple things to look at. We finally got our air condition installed. We uh, we officially have power here at the house. Of course, not the outlets, but we do have uh, power at the meter box. Um, I also bought our drywall today and it's being delivered on Monday. We we're hoping for it to be delivered on Friday and try to start um, you know, Friday and Saturday. That's just not how it worked out, sadly. So uh, sadly, that's gonna push us back a week, but that actually gives us a little bit of time to finish up a couple more things before we officially close everything in. So I know we've looked at this a few times, but uh, might as well look at it the last time here because we are officially uh, complete here almost with our, our furnace, officially almost complete, that makes a lot of sense. But we do have all our lines ran, um, uh, power here, and uh, of course our intake exhaust tubes are done. And um, we're waiting to see where we should stub out uh, the propane for the regulator. We're gonna go ahead and ask the inspector on that before we do it here in our county. It's supposed to be at least uh, five feet away from the window and it needs to sub out three feet away from the AC, uh, three feet away from the AC. And of course the AC, which we're gonna look at in a minute, is around the other side here. So we're gonna try and make sure that we have plenty of room there. And they were very happy to get in here and finish up once more before the drywaller started because uh, they helped us out a little bit and got all our ducks hanging down where they'd like to see them, you know, in that uh, general area. So we got all our ducks hanging down so the drywallers can just go ahead and cut out um, the circles for the vents. They left us a template. Of course, we got our thermostat, which has been here for a while. But uh, yeah, they were happy to get in here and finish up before the drywaller started. We take a look back here, it's starting to get green. And uh, that's always exciting. Let's create out here. So there is our AC unit, which is a rather large AC unit. And I'll explain why. As you can see, we have to do much more dirt work here around the house than we anticipated. Um, you know, it's just not as level as we'd like it. So we're gonna have to kind of do this all the way around the house and then also smooth it down all the way down the hill. So that's gonna take a little bit of work, but this is our American Standard Silver Series um, uh, twin-staged AC unit, uh, two-stage, twin-stage, I don't know exactly how you'd call it. They installed this yesterday. So they went ahead and then filled this up with Freon yesterday, and I believe it's ready to go. It rained and got muddy there, which makes me sad, but uh, that'll all be cleanable. So, of course, we have our, our shut-off here. Um, so that is all good to go, stubbed in. So that was exciting to see. AC unit because of course they've been working on the furnace for a while but it's uh heading into summer so we're gonna need that first and if we take a look over here we have our pole installed by our electric company and our wire in here to our meter box as you can see by taking a look at the meter box we do in fact have power here by uh looking at the blinking lights here so i would assume we got some power there so that's always exciting to see having power here uh, just makes everything a little bit more motivating know we're making some kind of progress when sometimes it doesn't feel like it um, so yeah that's mainly what we've got done here in the last week sitting here in my soon-to-be shower but um even though we haven't got a lot done in terms of progress this week since the last video i did want to make this video because it is kind of a big deal to, to me. Uh, this will probably be the last time you'll see this where you can, of course, see through the walls. Um, uh, I think adding drywall will be one of the biggest steps to, uh, you know, all of a sudden you're, you're walking into a, a house that's actually closed in, has rooms. You know, right now I can stand in my, my uh, master bathroom shower and see into the garage. So it's just a little odd, but uh, I think adding the insulation and drywall will make uh, such a big difference that I wanted to get one more video out to go ahead and document this um, just for me in the future, I guess. So that'll be a big stepping stone. Of course, I have a video out for that. So look forward to that. I'm um, really hoping to start next weekend on drywall. It'll be insulated early this week. So uh, I'll try and get all that uh, caught in the future. And as well as our, we are running our water line in for the well. Uh, hopefully this week and a septic system as soon as we can i'd love to see uh somewhat close to being done by may mid-may 
uh, we'd like to get in here as soon as we can. So uh, sure do appreciate anybody watching and a couple people that leave the comments. I really appreciate that. If you want to go ahead and like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. So thank you very much.